After more than 50 years in the public eye, it looks like David Suzuki has no plan of slowing down. Joining me now is the environmental activist himself. How are you, David? I'm fine, thank you. Well, let's get right into it. Not too long ago, you celebrated your 80th birthday. And my question for you is, at this time in life, how do you prioritize what environmental issues are most important to you? Well, a lot of it is predicated on being asked to come and talk at places uh, like Word on the Street, for example. There'll be a number of issues that I'll talk about while I'm in uh, Saskatoon and Regina. Um, that's, I just happened to be there and there are some relevant issues. But overridingly, I feel that we've got to understand that human beings have become so powerful now, we're changing the basic physical, chemical, and biological properties of the planet. Mm -hmm. Scientists now call this the Anthropocene Epoch, the period in geological history when the major force affecting the properties of the planet is us. This is unprecedented and it's not sustainable. And so uh, everywhere I go, I try to point out that we're seeing the impact uh, on the way that we live in Saskatchewan. Farmers are telling me all the time that the, the season is getting longer, but it's getting hotter. The issue, uh, one of the major issues now is water. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I'm in British Columbia, uh, uh, foresters are telling me that forests are dying, uh, that, that beetles are outbreaking and, uh, and causing havoc. Fishermen tell us the oceans are changing. So everywhere I go, the overriding issue is that our climate is changing and we've got to do something about it. Well, definitely something you are very passionate about and people love to hear what you have to say. Now, you, like you said, you are coming to Saskatoon for the Word on the Street Festival on Sunday and you're presenting one of your books uh, called Letters to My Grandchildren. So what kind of advice will people find in this book? Well, I'm hoping that elders, grandparents will read the book as well as my, my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying is we've come to a time when one of the most important groups that is not speaking out are us, the old timers, the old geezers. <laughs> we've got something nobody else in society has. We've lived an entire lifetime. And now as elders, we're, we don't have to worry about playing games to get a job or a promotion or a raise. We don't have to run after fame or power or money. We can now speak the truth from our hearts. And so I'm appealing to elders to speak to their, their, their children and grandchildren and tell them the truth. What have we learned in our lifetimes as we approach the last part of our life? What are the things that really matter? I lived with my father in the last month before he died, and we spent a lot of time talking. And I'll tell you, he kept saying, David, I die a rich man, which was always confusing to me because my wife and I were subsidizing him. He was not a wealthy man in terms of money. But in all the time we spent together, he never said, gee, you remember that big car I had or the fancy house I owned in London, Ontario, or all the nice clothes. He never talked about that. All he talked about were things that we did together with, with our family, with friends, with our neighbors. That's what he meant when he said, I die a rich man. It was all of the lifetime of experiences shared with people that mattered to him. And that's a really important lesson as we get on to the last part of our lives. As we die, I am sure we're not going to be saying, oh, wow, am I ever glad I made all that money? I'm, I, am I ever glad I was able to buy that new house? It's going to be what we did with other people. That's the thing that is the most precious, and we ought to think about that a lot. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, David. Definitely a lot to talk about, and you'll be here on Sunday at Word on the Street presenting two of your books. Thank you so much for joining me to talk about your, your latest but, books and your projects. I look forward to it. Thanks a lot.